Hello guys, Susanna here. Well, I'm back with the next part of the um, hummingbird um, block of the month. So I've coloured in the hummingbird and I put a bit of stuff on the top and the bottom because it, it felt like it wasn't, like it's blending in a little bit too much. Um, added this other colour too. I think once I added this, it really made it a highlight. So just got all the bits and pieces off the pattern and um, you may use this colour so just to give it a bit more highlight just straight stitch for on the and the eye as well just got I think I did a French knot and then a tiny little white bit on there so here I'll show you have a good close-up look I think it looks really cute now for this next bit um, I'm going to be probably just working on the flower and then down here and then the rest uh, you can do as much or as little as you like. I'm probably just going to do the one flower that and maybe some of the leaves a little bit um, but that's about it. Oh, excuse me, I'm just going to blow my nose. Okay, so... I had done some of that red but I'm, I think I'm a bit worried that it was a bit too dark so I pulled it out probably just want to highlight um, some of these bits which I'm going to do and I've got all the um, the stuff ready on my um, needles so I might just do it just here a little bit and we're just going to come in um, with a just a stem stitch not even that just a stitch bring it in and color in so to speak a little bit there we go go along there might use this Um, so I'll probably just do this little bit here and then um, I'll go back and do more myself. I'm just doing it on a bit of an angle just so it's not so boring. A bit straight is a little boring. So a bit like some of my other pieces that I've done. You just let the picture give you a bit of a guide. Like these ones, see how I didn't, um, I didn't colour in all of it. You don't need to colour in all of it, you just highlight bits. So I might leave that there, you may not be able to see it. Just not sure how far it zoomed in. So... How are we all going? I hope you liked um, my season's introduction. Um, I forgot to say on the actual video that the reason why I um, did it on the Saturday uh, is it, it, and I'm going to be the first video is on the 12th of June so it gives enough time for anyone to buy them and then start the ball rolling on the 12th of June. And plus, I do need to. I'm working on the block of the month. I want to concentrate on, because there are some people that are doing the block of the month and other people that are doing other different projects. So I just want to concentrate um, the first filming day, because I do Tuesdays and Saturdays. Um, the first filming day of june needs to be my block of the month for that month so and the same will happen in july um i in after this is after this video i'm going to be doing the tag so um we'll do the tag which i do the tag of the month and then after that that's when i'll be starting with my seasons and then we will do the summer there's two videos for summer two videos for autumn, two videos for winter 
and then that's the following month which will be um, my other block of the month and then we're going to be heading into spring I might go here so yeah it's not a short process I've got a, probably about 10 to 12 videos already pre-recorded um, for the seasons also show you the framing and doing the um, the same of it as well still still working on that actually so okay I think that looks rather good I don't want to do it pull it too tight because that's not good now I might go like that there and then put it up here And then it gives you a little bit of a 3D element. So I'll probably go along there, there, um, and fill in the bits and pieces. So that's that. So that's what we're going to do. I'm probably going to go back and do that. But you, you don't always have to. So what I want to do now is do the, the little stamens. And so I don't know whether I want to go around the actual flower. I'll see the effect of um how this looks first because i was thinking of going in that darker color but i just i think maybe having a light color might be better and do i do just a straight stitch which i think i may Um, it's a pretty long stem, so I might double up on that one. And then on the actual bits on the end, I'm probably going to do some French knots. Got one coming out from here. Which is goes to there and then another one goes to here for that first one it comes up here didn't quite finish anyway like I say let the actual fabrics do the work for you this one probably requires a double as well don't want to do one big one go halfway and one small one here and then go the big long one again which may require three I think long yep oh. So, I don't know if you can see that, I need to see, there we go, if I'm in enough, you probably can't see that very much, so I'll just maybe tie off, I was going to, what I want to do with this colour too is um, maybe do some of these lines in that colour, I'll just see, so I might tie it off, 
That's probably the easiest thing at this point. And then we're going to get the yellow. Really want to tie that off. And uh, do some French knots. Either do French knots or because they're skinny and long, I reckon I re might do a lazy daisy. And then just do a small lazy daisy. I am going to re-thread this and thread it off because it's going to drive me nuts. It's going to just be in the way sometimes. You just need to do it. Sorry guys. I deliberately had all the um, the stuff out of the way. <laughs> Seriously. Ugh. I seem to make it worse. I think when you're on camera. You just make it worse. <laughs> just leave it. Okay. Um, unless I just turn them off. Okay, so I'm going to pick that up and do a tiny little loop. And then I'm going to go back in through the middle just to fill that in. Because I want it to look like a little bit of a loop, but I thought I want to fill it through. So go back here at the end. And you do a tiny little lazy daisy, which is you go next to it like that. Go around. It ends up with this little loop. Go down to hold that down. And then I'm going to go back in the middle. And fill that in. So it's sort of like a, a filled lazy daisy. Oh, that looks good. So I'll do that again here. And I wanted these to be yellow because a lot of stamens are, and then they're aptly named, I tell you, stamens. If you get this stuff on you, they do stain the fingers and the clothes. So go through like that hold it down go into the middle and then just fill that in okay another one so just put it next to it You can see it. I mean, if you want to, you can just leave it without anything in the middle of it. But I think I want it filled. With colour. There we go. And do another one. I think that's a good alternative. There you go. Sometimes... French knots are not always the answer. You know, another thing that could be good for this too would be bullion knot. That might work too. There's all different types of stitches you can use. Okay, go down here and do this one. Hopefully you're seeing this. I think because it's a yellow, you can actually see it, which is good. When I did that um, brownie colour, you couldn't really see what 
what's happening. Yeah. Log it in. Go down to the bottom here. Okay. Go around. Now, so I didn't do it close enough for that one, so this is where having coming back in is actually not a bad thing. Now, going up to here. Once again, it's caught this. And grab that. You go as close as you can. That way you don't end up with a big gap like that. Okay. This staining's gone awry. <laughs> I don't know why this one is off to the side, but it is. I suppose like anything, nothing is perfect. Now, there we go. So I'll definitely um, knock that off. And I might even just pick up a couple of these because it's quite a long piece here. And then knot it off. Just don't want that catching on everything. There we go. Now, for that, there we go. I like it. It's looking pretty good. Um, I'll probably do a little bit more of that off camera. And we'll see how we go. You sort of want to highlight it, but at the same token, you don't want to take away. I really don't want to take away from the hummingbird, which is the main the main thing. Now, I've got this fab. Um, it's a bit thicker. It's a pearl rather than a pearl eight. It's a pearl five. So, and it's a um, multicolored one. And I thought that it might be good for the stem i want to try again in moving this out of the way which i think we do need to and just sometimes it just pays to get it out of the way i'll come back in with that later there we go There we go. Now, that's the start of the other one. So I'll get here. And I would like to do a stem stitch. And this time it is a stem stitch. But I might do it on a little bit of an angle. I'll put that on there. So it's going to go more sideways, if you know what I mean. There we go. Gives it a bit of thickness. Oh, for some reason it just doesn't want to come through for me. It's a stem stitch, but it's a bit of a different one. I don't want to fill in the whole angles that's probably why it's having a little bit of difficulty getting through and I think the needle's probably a bit fat yep yeah so it gives us a, a little bit of thickness And we 
you've got a, a thicker thread it really does make a bit of a difference to um, how things want to come out <laughs> and not just be stubborn and stay there So when it comes to stuff like this, it's all about highlighting bits. So I'm going to do here. Oop, need to hold that. Um, I've also um, done that. So I might even do a little bit of a stem stitch. I might highlight that one, maybe that one. Just some level bits and pieces here and there. Um, I'll go probably to there and then start again here and then stop there. Um, I might do that one. I don't know. We'll see how we go. It does seem to be a bit tough. And what I like about the variegated thread is it changes colour and you get a little bit of texture and colour. It's starting to go more a bit of an olivey colour. You can see it's a bit lighter there. And it's going a bit of an olivey colour here. So go to Oh, I just don't see the wing. Some days it doesn't pay to film. And I think probably today is one of them. Okay. So yeah, go up. And then I'm just going to go underneath. like that. Sometimes things can pucker a little bit. Coming through on there like that. That's when you know you get the iron out and you give it a bit of an iron. So I am going to, because this is going to be, I don't think I'll do a great deal, I'll probably just highlight this part and this part and then everything else here because I think that's going to be part of the, when I have the book, so I may not do too much of that, maybe just that stem and then I'll highlight some of these and maybe even that. But these I might leave. So, um, and then just leave the sky and everything as is. Hmm. I like it. Okay, guys, well, yes, look, you just continue on doing that. And even there too, I really like how that's looking. And um, in the next video, I'll be working on the tag and I'll actually show you the finished um, embroidery with this. So we're just going to keep going, doing that sort of stuff. And then the straight stitch over, um, over these bits as well. And come in here with some green. So do as little or as much as you like. I told you this is going to be a nice, quick, easy one. So um, uh, next month's one might be a little, it's a big, a lot bigger one. It's a squirrel one and um, yeah, it's a bit bigger. So, okay guys, well, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed um, working on this. I'd love to see it. it um, the yellow really brings that out. And I'm glad I didn't do the red because I really needed this to be the highlight. So, okay. Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one where we uh, are going to be doing the tag. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.